Hey guys, I want to talk really quick about two different roads. Jesus said, enter through the narrow gate because the gate is wide and the road is easy that leads to destruction and many people enter through that gate. But the gate is small and the road is difficult that leads to true life. Only a few people find that road. Jesus is saying there is a narrow way that leads to life and it is difficult. And there is a broad way and it's easy. Most of us are familiar with this concept. But here's the problem. A lot of times people will look at their life and assume that they are on that narrow difficult road when they're actually not. What I mean by this is Many times Christians, myself included for many years, would look at difficult things in life and say, this is a trial, this is a test, this is a difficult thing. We have trials we have to face. But those trials and those difficulties aren't the sort of things that Jesus was talking about. Consider it this way. I grew up in the DC area. Imagine I'm coming home from Washington DC and I've got two different options on my way home. I could take one road, which is unpaved. It's got potholes, deep, deep potholes. It's got bushes overgrown that sometimes you have to get out and like hack them away to get them out of the way. It's a difficult road and it's a narrow road. My other option is the Beltway, I-495 at rush hour. If you are just driving home on I-495, you might think that you are on the difficult way. Everyone ultimately chooses to go home that route because it's easier than the small, narrow road that's unpaved with potholes. Everybody ends up taking I-495. That's why it is broad. It's a four-lane highway. And yes, it has its difficulties, but it's nothing compared to the small, narrow road Few go down that road because at the end of the day, I-495, even in rush hour, is the easiest way to take. That is a picture of the narrow road versus the broad road. A lot of times Christians look at their lives and they think they are on the narrow, difficult road because they have difficulties. Jesus said we will have difficulties. We have difficulties. I must be on the right road. But what are your difficulties? Trying to get your bills paid? Being in love and having your heart broken? Getting a good career? Having a good retirement plan? Trying to get a good education? Trying to pass that school exam? Trying to get your kids a good education? These are all difficulties in life, but none of these are exclusive to Christianity. None of these are exclusive to following Jesus. If your difficulties are no different than the pagans, the atheists, and the people who don't at all worship God, then why do you think you're on the small, narrow, difficult road? You are facing all of the same difficulties as everyone else traveling down a four-lane highway at rush hour. Those are not the difficulties Jesus was talking about. Those are not the trials he was talking about. The narrow, difficult road is difficult because you should look nothing like the world, not because you look exactly like the world. When your difficulties are the same difficulties that the world is facing, people who don't even believe in Jesus are facing, you've got the wrong difficulties. Often we picture what Jesus said and we think of a broad, wide, well-paved road and we are the only one going down it. But no, he said many go down it. You're picturing it wrong. You need to picture the beltway at rush hour. It's got its difficulties. But even at rush hour, it is still the easiest way to go. We picture the broad way that Jesus talks about as having absolutely no trials, no hardships, no difficulties. But that doesn't make any sense when we look at the world because even people who don't believe in Jesus have difficulties. They have trials. They have hardships. They go through difficult times. They see sickness and death. They're trying to get their bills paid. They're trying to get a good career. 
They are trying to have a good retirement at the end of their life. They are trying to get a good education. They are trying to get their kids to have a good education. They are trying to raise their kids and they're busy with having lots of kids around the house. Every one of those things is faced by people who don't believe in Jesus. So if those are your difficulties and you don't have anything else, are you on the right path? The way is narrow and is difficult. Difficult compared to the difficulties of the broad road. All those difficulties are nothing compared to the difficulties of the narrow road. The trials, the testing, what you have to give up in order to go down that road. The way of Jesus is difficult. It's difficult compared to the way of the world, compared to the way of those who will not enter the kingdom. That does not mean the other way doesn't have difficulties, but in comparison, it's easy. Jesus said a lot of things that we're supposed to be doing that many Christians don't do. He talked about selling your possessions, giving to the poor, giving to everyone who asks, not loving money. More than not loving money, you need to hate money, hate possessions. He talked about being insulted, mocked, persecuted, maybe even killed. He talked about not building your life around a career or business or retirement. He talked about not doing many of the things that Christians do and think that those are the difficulties of the narrow way. Christians build their lives around their families and they say, my family is my ministry. But Jesus said, unless you leave your family, you're not worthy of me. If your trials are something that anyone could go through, even if they don't believe in Jesus, they're the wrong trials. And I myself used to talk like that, where I would say, oh, I've got this trial. I've got this difficult thing I'm going through and they, oh yeah, it's a trial, but you know, we all have trials. Those are the wrong trials. You need to get on the path that is unpaved. It's got potholes. You might get a flat tire. You might break an axle. Sometimes you have to get out of your car and hack away the bushes with a machete in order to keep going. That is the narrow way, the difficult way that leads to life. Few choose that way because I-495 at rush hour seems better in comparison.